Hey gang, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan Spencer and I'm the Educational Technology Consultant over at the Jackson County ISD. And we're going to try something a little bit different for this training. Now, I'm, I'm really excited to show you some different ways that you can use screencasting in your classrooms. But I'm also hoping to get your, get your help. Um, I'm doing this as part of a research project to kind of see how I can improve the, the PD that I offer. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit more about this in detail, but just so you know, um, I could really use your help. Everything that we do is completely optional and, and anonymous, but I, all I ask is that you be very blunt about what works and what doesn't for you. But here's the big idea. We're not going to have a lot of time for our face-to-face -face training. So instead of spending all of that time talking about what screencasting is or giving you ideas on how to use it, I want to take care of that beforehand and then spend the training time that we have actually making those screencasts and really giving you a chance to create something um, that you could use right away. Now at the end of this video I'm going to ask you to just fill out a quick survey and give me some ideas that I can use to really personalize this training for you. Now here's a, a few ways that you can get a hold of me if you have questions before or after the training. Um, my email is dan.spencer at jcisd.org. I use Twitter quite a bit so you can get a hold of me there. My handle is at runfardvs and if you use um, G, or Google Plus you can just look for me under Dan Spencer. Now let's get into talking about what a screencast actually is. A screencast is a, a video that you create of what's happening on your computer screen. And you can also get uh, the, the presenter's audio and you can put other things in there and we'll talk more about that later. But pretty much whatever you can see on your computer screen, you can turn that into a screencast. So for example, what we're doing right now with all of this, this is a screencast. I'm sitting at my office, I'm recording this presentation that's on my computer screen. You can hear me, you can see what's happening on my screen, and in a lot of ways it's almost like you're right here with me. Now I'm using a program that's called Camtasia um, to record this, but you know, we're going to start a little bit simpler. So we're going to use a, a, a program that's free that's called Jing. Now in order to get going, here are a few things that you're absolutely going to need to have in order to make your screencast. And these are things that I want to make sure we have uh, when we meet together. So first thing is you're gonna need a computer. You're gonna need some kind of screencasting software, something that you can use to create that video. We're gonna use Jing. Um, sometimes we might use Camtasia. Uh, and there's some other options that I'll, I'll share with you as well. We're gonna need to have a microphone. Now, some computers have a microphone that's installed in there those internal mics are okay they'll, they'll do the job but if you have a USB microphone a, a microphone that you can plug into the USB slot of your computer those tend to work a little bit better but as long as you have one or the other you're gonna be okay and then we're gonna need to have a place to put those screencasts now one of the things that I'm gonna ask that you do um, today before or before you go to the training is to download Jing and I'll show you how to do that and also um, create what's called a screencast.com uh, account and that's also free as well. But here's some other things that, that you could use uh, that are nice to have but aren't absolutely necessary. It's, it's good to have a, an internet connection. This is gonna be software dependent. Some of these software programs you need to have the internet, some you don't, but at some point you're gonna need to, to have that. It's also nice to have a webcam. I happen to be using one right now. Your students really like to be able to see you, believe it or not, um, but you don't have to have one. And also a tablet. Now when I talk about a tablet, I'm talking about something like, like this. This is a, a Wacom Bamboo. What it does is if you've ever tried to write on a screen with your mouse, you know how tedious that can be. What this does is you plug this into your computer. Your computer sees it as if it was a a mouse but you have a, a pen that you can use to draw on the screen. Once again that's not absolutely necessary but it's nice to have. Now here are a few programs for screencasting software. Um, I'm gonna have you guys download Jing. Uh, that's through through TechSmith. It's, it's free. It gives you up to five minutes of uh, screencast time. Another free option is Screencast-O-Matic. 
that gives you a little bit more time. If you're looking for a lot more bells and whistles, there's Camtasia, there's ScreenFlow, other things like that. Now there's a few people that are starting to use iPads quite a bit in their classroom. And these apps are more kind of like a, a whiteboard than they are a screencast, but you can do a lot of, of, of similar things. So there's ScreenChomp, uh, ShowMe, EduCreations, those are all free. Um, explain Everything is really nice. It gives you a lot more options and it costs three bucks. So what I wanna do here really fast is show you um, how to download Jing and also how to sign up for a, a free screencast.com uh, account. So this is how you'll sign up for a free um, Jing or get Jing. First you're gonna go to this website right here which is techsmith.com and one of the things that you'll look for is do you see here where it says top downloads? Just go to where it says Jing. If you click on that it brings you to this website right here and whether you're on a Mac or whether you're on a PC, you just pick whatever it asks you to, to do, or which, whichever one works for, for you. The other one is, that I want you to do is sign up for a free screencast.com account because that's gonna let you put your, um, put your stuff or your videos in there. So the website is screencast.com, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign up for your free account right here you get up to two gigs of storage which is enough to get you going and once again it's it's free but what I ask is make sure that when you do that that you remember what your username and and password are just so that we can use that in our training okay so when teachers are wondering about using screencasts in their classroom I always like to ask them one question I like to ask them at the end of the day what are you sick and tired of repeating some people call it what are your points of pain but there's stuff in whatever it is that you teach that you have repeated over and over again. Now, if you have done that, if you have something in mind, that is something that you can screencast. Now, here's just a, a few ideas for you. Um, in fact, when we do our training, I'm gonna have you pick one of these so that you can, you can get some practice actually making one. So the first one I like to think of is I always hated being gone and having a sub because my kids would always uh, misunderstand what they were supposed to do. So one thing that I've tried doing is creating just a two or three minute screencast of me explaining to my kids what it is I want them to do the day that I'm going to be gone and then have the, the sub show that to all of my students uh, at, when, or at the beginning of, of each class. Some other things that I like is think about when your kids go home and those when they have those problems and they look at their notes and they don't remember what it is they're they're supposed to do well one thing that you can do with screencasting is you can create examples or tutorials that you that don't have to be very long just a few minutes but just how to work out different problems or how to do different things and you can make it possible so that they can access those anytime now another thing that I like to do here is just getting some help with parent for parents um, a lot of parents want to be able to help their kids out, but they don't remember. It's been a while since they've taken a, a class on this. Well, if you create these screencasts, not only does it help your students, it also helps the, the parents be able to help their own kids. This is a fun one. I've been seeing this a lot with uh, English teachers. Think about all of the time you spend grading papers and making the, getting out that red pen and making corrections and you hand it back to their students or to your students and they have no clue what they talk or what that's talking about. Well, what I've seen some teachers do is they create a screencast of themselves grading the papers where they go and they mark up the the papers but also talk themselves through it and then the students watch that video. One thing that's fun is start having kids create the screencasts. Um, one teacher I know, his name's Eric Marcos, he has his sixth grade math students create screencasts explaining how to work different problems. And students really like to be able to hear it from their, from their peers. Okay, so those are some ideas on how you can use screencasts in your classroom. Think about what's going on in your own situation and kind of try to figure out one that, that might work for you. So first of all, before we meet, let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to email me at dan.spencer or yeah, dan.spencer at jcisd.org. 
uh, please answer the survey that I have embedded. It's just gonna let me individualize this training uh, more when, when we actually meet face to face. Also, I wanna make sure that you download Jing and create a screencast.com account. And also bring your computer and microphone to the training. Other than that, I'm really looking forward to the time that we get to spend together. Hopefully I can help you with some ideas on how to use this right away. And we'll talk then. Bye.